Hi everyone, I thought I'd do a quick video on removal of the Whirlpool door. Most every video out there for Whirlpool or most oven doors has hinges that have a piece here that pulls back and disconnects this. This is an older style Whirlpool oven. It doesn't have that hinge or that locking hingeable link here that pulls back like this. So I was like wondering how does this thing come apart? Well I figured it out. Basically you can see that hole right there. <clears throat> right there. There's a hole on both sides. And what you do is what I did is I cut a little 16 penny nail just big enough to be able to get in there and um, do that on both sides. You stick it through that hole and what you do is you close the door basically all the way about to here and what that does is the hinge closes on clamps onto that nail or allen head wrench or whatever you want to stick in there and it basically releases the hinge so when you get it up to here about you're able to pull out the bottom, the hinges basically, you can wiggle them out and they disconnect from the inside part and it leaves you with a metal bracket that is is hidden here, but basically the whole door comes off. Um, so that's how you do that. And what happens is these springs located here, there's a spring rail that these two screws here secure the spring on both sides. And that what gives that's what gives the tension on those hinges. So when removing the door, you don't need to remove these four screws, at least for this whirlpool. Um, but once you put put in the uh, Allen head wrenches or the 16 penny nail in there, and you close it, you're able to pull close it about as far as you you know have your hand in there still to be able to grab the thing. But you'll be able to wiggle the entire thing out. So once I did that, I was able to actually take apart the door. Again, you don't want to remove these spring things when you do take it apart. You would remove these two here at the top, which holds this outer glass. And then once you get that, there's another screw here on the bottom that holds a little bracket on both sides. That allows the front glass to come off of this whirlpool I think this we bought probably in 2000 or so, so it's probably 18 years old. It still runs great. And once you get that front glass off, that basically it's what exposes all of the inner parts where you're able to remove. There's actually three pieces of glass here. There's this one, there's the outside one I should be there with the handle on it, and then there's another just plate glass in the middle that's kind of angled at a, I don't know, offset degrees um, between this one and the outside. So there's three pieces of glass. It's very easy to take this whole thing apart, get all the pieces cleaned. We had pieces of food that had fallen in here and everything and grease and it was real nasty after 18 years of use. Um, so it was a well worthwhile effort to take the door completely apart um, and clean it all out clean the glass nicely. So now I have a nice clean glass when I put the light on inside the oven. So anyway, um, again, Whirlpool, late 90s, early 2000s style. I'm not sure if you can see that. Model number is what we're talking about for this one. It seems like sometime after this one, they went to that new style that had the hinge lock. Anyway, hope this helped.